Chi, and I am a pharma scientist at the Rocket Asia Pacific Innovation Center. Today, together with my biopharma colleague Peng Tao, we would like to share with you the key role of cyclodextrins in the treatment and prevention of the coronavirus. COVID-19 is a coronavirus disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, or in short, SARS-CoV-2. The main symptoms are fever, cough and shortness of breath, but people can also suffer from muscle aches, pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome. SARS-CoV-2 is a positive sense single-stranded envelope RNA virus encapsulated in a lipid membrane. It has structural proteins called spike proteins present on the surface which help it to enter the human cells via angiotensin converting enzyme ACE2 receptors present in the cells of body organs such as the lung, heart, etc. As it enters the human body, the virus injects its genetic material into the cell and starts making copies. Once the cell is saturated, it explodes and starts infecting other cells. As the immune system gets activated, uncontrolled release of cytokines leads to a cytokine storm causing acute respiratory distress syndrome, which is the leading cause of death. Currently, there is no clinically proven treatment for COVID-19. Several existing and new therapies are being investigated for treatment of COVID-19. These are mainly antiviral drugs and monoclonal antibodies. Various vaccines are also under development for COVID-19 prevention. Combinations of antiviral drugs have been repurposed to treat COVID-19 and have shown positive results. Antiviral drugs can act at various stages of the viral life cycle to arrest viral replication. Some antiviral drugs act by inhibiting viral entry. One class of antivirals, known as the RNA polymerase inhibitors, act by inhibiting viral RNA synthesis. Another class of drugs, the HIV protease inhibitors, have also shown activity in inhibiting SARS-CoV-2 replication. Other antivirals act by preventing the budding of newly formed virus particles. However, the development of antiviral drugs can be hampered by formulation challenges, most notably poor aqueous solubility of the active compound. Adequate drug solubility is imperative to ensure bioavailability and consequently the efficacy of oral antiviral therapy. In the case of parenteral therapy, which offers the benefit of rapid onset in critically ill patients, drug solubility is even more critical given that intravenous solutions must be particulate free and buffered to physiological pH. In February 2020, Roquette scientists published a position paper on the role of Klepto's hydroxypropyl beta cyclodextrins or HPBCD in the fight against the coronavirus. HPBCD can effectively overcome formulation challenges of antiviral drugs by offering improved solubility and bioavailability. It comprises a hydrophilic exterior and a hydrophobic bucket-like cavity which is capable of complexation with hydrophobic drugs, leading to solubility enhancement. HPBCD is cited in the FDA's list of inactive pharmaceutical ingredients and is approved for use in both oral and parenteral formulations. This is due to the high aqueous solubility and excellent safety profile of HPBCD even at relatively high doses. Another treatment option under development is monoclonal antibodies. The coronavirus invade the human body, propagate in human cells, and trigger immune response. In certain cases, the runaway immune response can cause a cytokine storm to release excess amount of inflammatory cytokines, which lead to severe respiratory syndrome. In order to cure the disease, monoclonal antibody can target to either clear the chloramidus or neutralize an excess amount of cytokines. 
To develop monoclonal antibody, successful formulation is critical. Antibody has aggregation propensity during transportation and storage. Selection of appropriate excipient can extend antibody's shelf life as well as enhance solubility and viscosity. Our data has proven HPBCD as a novel functional excipient in monoclonal antibody formulations, as shown in the right finger. Kleptos HP and HPB, which are HPBCD offered by Rocket, significantly reduced bevacizumab aggregate level under heat stress condition, as compared to commercial formulation. Moreover, similar protection effects were observed under agitation stress. HPBCD is a vital option to be applied in formulation to extend monoclonal antibodies' shelf life. While investigating disease treatment options, Another equally important measure to cease the COVID-19 pandemic is to expedite the availability of vaccines. There are different strategies ongoing to develop vaccines. The whole coronavirus can be treated accordingly to obtain life attenuated vaccine or inactivated vaccine. Or the pathogenic protein on the surface of virus envelope can be developed into subunit vaccine. Alternatively, emergent technologies are harnessed to develop nuclear acid-based vaccines, which usually encode coronavirus antigens. This includes DNA vaccine, mRNA vaccine, and viral vector vaccine. Taking subunit vaccine, for example, it contains only part of the coronavirus. Therefore, there is a less of a safety concern. However, it also less immunogenic. Injection of subunit vaccine usually cannot induce sufficient immune response in human body. Therefore, the additional substance called adjuvant is needed in subunit vaccine. Adjuvant co-administered with subunit vaccine can facilitate in boosting a strong and protective immune response. Selection of efficient and safe adjuvant is critical for subunit vaccine products, and HPBCD has presented its potential. Previous data has shown that HPBCD as adjuvant in one influenza subunit vaccine induced comparable immune response as conventional adjuvant aluminum salt. At the meantime, the IgE level, which is relevant to unwanted allergenic reaction, was much lower. Importantly, HPBCD alone could not induce immune response. In summary, Rocket offer HPBCD as Kleptos HP and HPB. HPBCD is effective solubilizer and has great potential in antiviral drug formulations. In monoclonal antibody formulation, HPBCD is a safe and novel excipient to improve stability and shelf life. And HPBCD is safe and effective adjuvant in subunit vaccine.